Hi, you guys. This video is going to be for the hashtag 52 challenge 2022. And it is hosted by Lonnie's Crafts. And Lonnie is turning 52 later on this month. Um, and then she's also going to be traveling for her birthday. Um, so I did like a little traveling theme for her. So she also needs to get to 500 subscribers. You guys can make that happen for her. Um, she is an awesome, awesome, awesome crafter. I know that she, um, participates in like collaborations with other people a lot. Um, and she just makes really nice things and she's really fun and really funny on her channel. So you guys go check Lani out. I will have her information um, in the description box below along with her video with um, all of the rules and everything. So I'll quickly kind of go through her rules. You have to be 18 and older, a subscriber. You have to make her a VR and comment on that video. And then you can make her a handmade crafter's choice item, you'll get five points. A handmade 3D item, you'll get 10 points. A handmade card, 10 points. Or if you make her another type of card, you'll get five points. If you make a VR about her channel and, um, and the challenge, you get five points. So that's what I'm doing now. And then um, if you guys sub to her, Please mention that you found out about her challenge from me, Stay Stace, and then I'll get a point. Um, you can make her a memory dex card or ATC if you haven't made her a memory dex card before. Um, so the memory dex card is five points and the ATC is three points. Um, I think her deadline is at the end. I mean, at the beginning of July, sometimes um, I will definitely have that information in the description box because I don't have it with me right now. But let's just get into what I made for Lanny turning 52. OK, so the first thing um, I made is this travel box. And you guys, my sister just had a big birthday and she will be doing some traveling as well um, out of the country. So I made her a camera box. And while I was doing it, I made one for Lanny as well. I will put the picture pictures to my sister's box um, somewhere probably here or maybe at the end of the video um, so you can see that one to two totally different styles so um, I hope Lanny likes this one so So it is a shaker here for the lens this tutorial came from Christian's Crafty Adventures um, these are the flowers that I made last week for hashtag let's do die cutting Monday and I love the way that they turned out it has the watercolor um, bits on the handmade flowers I added some leaves here in gold and one of those um, butterflies and I thought that it was so cute in black and gold polka dot and then it has just a little sticker here that says travel it has some trim here it has another little piece of trim here a thicker sticker here that says smile and i added two rows of bling here for the buttons on the top um th this one is a button and this one is a sticker and so i love this box um i use some lace for the handles um and it's really pretty like this fabric it is it is so cute okay and so the box does open and so that's just the top and it's on there pretty snugly too so it's not going anywhere so that's what the box looks like on the inside I did line um, the sides of it and I have my sticker on the bottom of the box um, I have brads here so it does move I'm obsessed with this box. Oh, and I also did take the time to do diamond dots, two rows of them all the way around the lens. I did that on my sister's box as well. And so I think that that just turned out super cute. All right, so what I made for her, so this will be my handmade um, 
item. I was watercoloring, so I watercolored a whole eight and a half and eleven, um, eight and a half by eleven inch sheet of cardstock, and then I used these dies and I cut out some flowers, and so. I made her a little pack of those um, flowers that I watercolored and I also misted the whole um, sheet with like some shimmer spray so these have a little shimmer to it and I think that they turned out so cute and it um, it matches sort of the flowers on the top but you know they're, they're smaller okay so I also this is the memory decks card that I made her and I make the, my memory decks cards using Cricut Design Space. And I hope that it's the right dimensions. <laughs> um, but this was a sticker. The gold brownish part um, was a two-layered sticker from Dollar Tree. And then I put this sticker on top of another sticker. And um, kind of made it a lens, but it's also like a compass. And then added some little leaves on it as well, just like the um, box and um, I love this paper and then I also added some of like that little netting stuff that mesh that came from Dollar Tree and I also distressed the ends of it and then I have my information on the back so that is my ATC card um, and I found a postcard from Louisiana, so I am also sticking that in it because I think it just goes along with the whole thing. And I tried to find one that um, kind of matched the colors of what I was going with here. And then, um, you guys, I also made her this... Um, like journal like a photo journal so she can take pictures from her birthday and from um her trip and she can reduce the size and put them in here but this is a really nice size so i have it on with um a little fel a velcro dot and then um this is one and this is two so it's two journals inside of this okay and so this opens up this way and it says do what you love on this page and then I have like little tags in all of the pockets that I made um, I just have this little black ballerina on with a paper clip um, some flowers and there's something I believe in every single pocket but I left areas where she can um, do some journaling if she wanted to or she can add a whole photo here she can add a photo here and here um, even on the back one large one right here so i left a lot of space for her to do you know what she wanted to do in here and then on this one same thing this one says detour it has a little camera here and again i put things in every pocket and just did a little bit of decorating on um, all of the pages so that's how that turned out and then here I added a little pocket and added some um, little ephemera inside of here that she can um, she can also use to continue decorating the book or on another project or whatever so that is what I am sending her and because the box that I'm using to send her is um, kind of large I needed to fill it up with something else so um, these were those little jewelry boxes that I scored a while ago at from a garage sale and so I decorated the top and just put a piece of paper underneath it and this is another one of my flowers and I just did some inking on the edge of the flower and I think that that turned out super cute and you guys saw me make this from BB's crafts in another video so I am giving her one of these and it's on with a lobster class that I just have tucked behind here so it can all pretty much stay together and so since I made an MDC card this is what I'm showing for hashtag ATC MDC Open Collab. That is hosted by Bonnie from Bonnie's Corner in Life with Patty. And it's to help you build your stash. You can create an ATC or MDC card um, on any Thursday and just upload your 
um, video and show us what you're working on. Give us some inspiration and also check out that hashtag, hashtag ATC and DC open collab and see what all of the other girls are making. Um, I have seen a lot of things that give me a lot of inspiration, a lot of fun things. Um, people are having fun while they're baking their cards and it just shows in their projects. So I have been making an ATC card to remind me of the projects that I have been making. So this is the one for this week and it is to remind me of Lonnie's and my sister's um, little camera bag. So box. So um, this is it. And so this is the paper, of course, that I use to line hers on the inside. This is the paper that I put in the background. I think this is also the paper that is in my sister's um, travel notebook thing, album. Um, and then, of course, the camera because of the camera theme that I have going on. This piece of lace is also the lace from her um, handle. And yeah, these flowers are the same flowers here using that same watercolor paper here. I just punched out um, two more and I just used one. And these were some gold leaves that I had left over from die cutting for this project. And I did include a few buttons here. So I snuck a little button down here and then there are buttons on the top and I, her face. Her favorite color is not purple. She didn't mention purple. I don't know if she likes it or not. I hope she does. Um, but my sister's favorite color is purple. And so I pulled out all of this stuff when I started creating stuff. Um, so I used a lot of purple buttons. So um, there's a purple button here, a purple button for a button here. And like I mentioned that one. And so I squeezed one in the back of the ATC card as well. So that's my MDC and ATC for hashtag ATC MDC open collab. You guys check out the collab and check out Lonnie's um, challenge and help her get to 500 subscribers, please. Okay, you guys, until next time, bye.